that's the only thing that's up there, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right, so we got two directions to go in. This one doesn't seem to be attached to anything. It's gonna continue going up that direction. You know, I've really enjoyed the verticality of, of the open world in this game, but not like this. Definitely not like this. This is not how I want it. And you know what? Like, I can't even... I can't even take a look around, you know, while I'm climbing. It's just, it's too, it's way too awkward. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, another cache. This was very easy. I think that's everything here and oh hello shit okay so we we're we're going up again oh you know what all right so this is like i guess one extreme end on the left hand side maybe this is going to allow us to cross over and i guess continue on where we were going There we go. That's what's up. Ether onion, always good. And there's nothing here. So that is, that is the end of our journey. Is it though? Maybe. Yeah, it kind of has to be. I don't think there's any way over there. It's crazy how empty this entire place is. Like there's so many signs of life, but there's absolutely just nothing here. It doesn't really make any sense. Let's see, is there a way to climb down? It doesn't look like it. So I guess one more level down and I'm going to be able to cross over. I think that the Choco stop, yeah, it was right there. Okay. You 
can do it, Chocobo. It's really unnecessarily slow. It really is. I'm ready for you. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get over there. All right, so that's climbing section there. Uh, is that where we want to go? I thought I saw something over here. I think this is it. That's kind of disappointing. See, like, <laughs> this part of the game has some really interesting areas. You know, interesting enough that you'd want to explore. Like, if, uh, the, if the traversal wasn't as awkward as it was, you know, maybe it'd be easier to tell, like, what's, what's something you can explore and what isn't. But uh, it's fine. Right, so that's oh okay. And this is gonna take us all the way across. So this should be another spring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. It is. just through there all right so the mind flare over here uh, that is gonna have one of the items uh, to that we have to uh, craft oh we can come up through the side over here so let's let's not do that let's go around uh, where we kind of started coming from 
and we'll go ahead and do uh, an end around and see what's going on over on this side. There's probably not a whole lot. I think there was a... T -t -t no, there's not even a, a tower. So... But who knows? Let's see if there's anything cool. Fiend didn't tell. So what? Pressure staggered defeat. Lavalus. All right, so exploiting its elemental weakness, so we need Blizzard. Don't overdo it. I'm coming. You can do it. Okay, let's go. Almost didn't make that. I did not want to have to hear Maya again. Most excellent work, Cloud. Is that battle proof of fitting test of your prowess? Your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh, yes! I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. All right. So that's probably all that was over here. That's what it's looking like. Uh, uh, move. See what I see? Oh, that's to um, the Phoenix. That's right. I guess we gotta go up. Of course. Okay. Get up, you'll see. 
She's not going to be able to get her off another prey. It's kind of close, though. So, appears we are heading in this direction. Yes, let's attempt to analyze the Phoenix Crystal. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we have X square, X square. So we have three, four, three, four, five, six, kind of. Easy. Okay, so coming down over here. So we've basically done an end around and we are going to, uh, that's right. So basically, let's, see, let's zoom out a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out and we're gonna come back over here. We need to get this Intel tower. Uh, then we need to go visit the Moogles and mog it up over there. And then we'll clear out this area and then come back around so we can go ahead and get this final divine phoenix thing do another the fiend didn't tell which i think is the last one finish up our uh condor thing find out what the fuck is over here and then finish it all up with this mind flare We are heading in the right direction. Time to do. No. Don't overdo it. I forget. Is it Blizzard? Jerk. What 
What an asshole. jerk okay so that's the life spring that we were at there is a tower that was right behind us oh joy She has her. Why don't you leave the Take it away? Away. It's on you. All, All done. Absolutely destroyed. Get the medals. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I can do without those stupid towers in whatever the next game is gonna be. Reunion, probably, right? It's going to reveal absolutely nothing because we're doing all the exploration already. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, we got to climb up to go to the Moogles. Let's do the stop first. I see you. You know, if I wasn't, if I, if I didn't have the sickness that requires me to get all of the damn things in this overworld, you know, maybe some of the stuff could be a little novel, but I'm telling you, like, I'm already kind of sick of doing all of these overworld things, and I'm only in the second major area. Chapter four. Well, hello there, Moogles. Uh, like, I suppose this is great. I almost feel like, I don't know if this would have worked out, but I almost feel like I should have done just a straight story playthrough and just ignored everything else. Oh, no, that's better for a second playthrough. All right. Let's get sucked into whatever. So, Would you mind rounding up all the mooglets for me? Of course not. I would love to do that. Oh, you bastard. What the hell are these things? Lord 
return to the world. world. Why, why do I want to lure him into the... Oh, so... Bruh. Ah, I should have been paying attention. Go into the whirlwind, you, you jerk. Oh, I can't climb over. I can't do my little athletic maneuver. Come on, you little piece of crap. There you go. One more. I don't get it. Why do I want to lure him into the whirlwind? Get in the, get in the, get in the fancy little bastard. No. Okay. I'm not entirely too sure. Like, I guess the whirlwind distracts him. But I, I, I don't know what the point is of luring them in the world when this. No, this is probably a bad idea. Alright, you little bastard. Gotcha. Alright, so the other two are over here. <laughs> if I wasn't so focused on putting him in the damn world one. I still don't understand the point of putting him in the world one. Outside of the uh like I get if we were trying to make him uh lose their health bar or whatever it is. But that doesn't seem to be the point. It doesn't seem to do much either. I'm gonna, definitely going to get these jerks here in the back. This is the one that gave me trouble. So, uh, no, I'm not going to lure them into the whirlwind. Okay. All right, so this little area back here, it's kind of a cheat. It feels like it because that's just too easy. have to come through here. Oh, he's gonna go back. He's gonna go back. Don't. Got him. Perfect. Oh, what, what's this? Holy crap, that's like almost a cheat. Go boom. Don't tell me you've been able to grab him this entire time. That was so much easier. I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Cool. 
All right, so. Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo. Let's see what you got. Some ether, ruby, emeralds. We have so many of those. I don't care. HP up. Earrings. That's kind of cool. We got so many medals, dude. Holy crap. Oh, this is just to do it again, huh? Can't catch me. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and go into Tyrion equipment. Aerith, and she's almost dead too. Oh, and she's uh, still, look at that. I wasted time. Didn't even realize I could slot another materia in that wand. Or the timeless rod, I should say. So the magical earring. Magical earring increases, amplifies. Okay, so magic power by five percent, max HP by three. up is kind of significant. She loses a little bit of magic attack and a little bit of magic. That's worth it for her, if I'm being honest. So she can actually slot too. So she has the fire damage up, which I don't think is... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. Ward duration, debuff... recovery. I like that. Uh, reduces ward shift cooldown by two seconds. Let's see what we can put in here. Increases vitality. What? MP up. Okay. Now that's what's up. Okay, she's got high power risk guard, so that's that's more of a strength build. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now that we're here. Let's go ahead and clear out all of this, uh, these area hunting grounds. The hill? Fix Aerith. Okay, so let's take a little bit of end around. I think it's up here. anybody
Okay, I guess. Doesn't feel like much of a hunting ground, though. So let's just take a peek over here to clear out the fog. And damn, like we're almost done. Basically takes care of that. All right, let's finish this up. Ah, oh, come on. I missed the turn, didn't I? Yep. Is there like a very small sliver? There it goes. And that covers that. late, I guess. this first interesting place we've seen this entire entire section this here's the crow's nest 
base of operations for our anti-Shinra activities. Sorry, but we're keeping things locked down after the trouble in under Juna. What? Dude, is this it? Like, I can't even talk to you? I can't even convince you? Can't let you through. Ugh. Can't let you through. Dude. Bro, it's really gonna make me do... Oh, but all the all the final things are here. Uh, I guess I can do the, um, the classified intel, but then I guess I gotta go back and I gotta do the fortress. Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, what we're going to do is we need to go back to the um, the farm, the ranch or whatever. Uh, please tell me that I can. That's right. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go ahead and take care of the uh, folios. Uh, I've upgraded to four. So what that means is that I should be able to add the final or one of the final elements to uh, to my party members. So that way I don't have to worry about using up any kind of uh, MP in order to do elemental attacks. We got everything you need to get your bird looking spiffy. Well, actually, oh. Didn't realize you could buy these. Yikes, I own a whole bunch. Uh, trade. So goodbye bye for now. Come back soon. Oh God, I hate you so much. Definitely, and we ain't gonna do red. I don't like the white. There is a, there isn't really a second color on here. Um, uh, you know what? I kind of like the gray. Still a little bit of red though. It's kind of weird. I hate using triangle. So where is the red coming from? My bad. Oh, oh well.
wow, that's it. I kind of thought we would have more SP, but it is what it is. Okay. So with Cloud, the only thing I don't have is a Blizzard attack. Snow Flurry. And this is a Wind. Oh, that's kind of cool, but it's more utilitarian. Oh, I don't have. Mm. All right, but that's good enough. Okay. So this is Barrett 13 Tifa. It's kind of confusing that you're showing Barrett here, but I'm trusting you that it's Tifa. Insufficient weapon level. Oh. Oh, okay. Aerith does have it, though. So let's see. She has wind... Lightning. Let's give her a little bit of fire. Probably want to do a little bit of ice. Magic defense. Yikes. Screw that. I'll do that next time. And ice magic. Either way. Fine, I need to do uh, Baird and Red 13 anyways, just in case. Not enough. So what do we got for five? Fire. It's crazy how crucial these abilities are. Like, honestly, it doesn't even make sense. The only thing Materia does is it gives you another opportunity to increase the pressure state on on enemies. Because at least from what it appears to me, and I don't know, maybe this is explained elsewhere, but using the same ability twice um, doesn't really have an effect on, on the pressure state of an enemy. So you really got to rotate it around, which, you know, makes sense. You don't want to have to... Uh, do this so many times. Or maybe it just wouldn't make sense to uh, constantly uh, take advantage of an enemy, uh, an enemy's weakness, and just constantly pound them again and again and again with the same abilities. Doesn't make a whole bunch of sense, so I kind of get it. We're heading in the right direction, sort of. Okay, yes, this will take us there.
Uh, hello? Oh, forgot this is an optional battle. You're going down. Let's do it right. Okay. Dude, it's just resistant to basically everything. So, the Mind Flare is a grotesque fiend that has taken up residence in one of Junon's inlets. It is capable of lifting even giant boulders with its pre-natural, preternatural, psychokinetic skills. Using its tentacles, it siphons off the brains of anything that wanders into its domain. Landing synergy abilities will pressure it. Fuck. Okay. Don't overdo it. All right. Watch and learn. Dude, when did I change? I don't remember changing. I don't remember changing my party. So I need red 13. Can we restart this? Ugh. This is so dumb. was kind of easy. Cloud, congratulations.
congratulations on dispatching the Mind Flare. I was concerned the Fiend might feast upon your brains, but I'm glad to see my fears were unfounded. Only a true hero could ever have defeated such a malevolent evil. Your valiant efforts today have brought the world one step closer to peace. Thank you, hero. <laughs> Don't mention it, guys. So that being said, what the fuck happened to my party? Yes, he is the leader. I agree. Transmitter now. It's not the gold needle. Psychic's charm, huh? Yeah. Max MP by f and magic power by five percent grants immunity to psychic. there were shortcuts. Hold the fuck up. When the hell did my party change? I'm so confused right now. Maybe this will get cleared up when I go to a rest stop. <laughs> I will say though, the uh, oh, the offensive output from from my guys over here, man, absolutely destroyed them. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't think I've ever changed party members. I was forced to in the in the mines. But I don't think I've ever changed party members. Uh-huh. I I don't believe that I've been forced to change party members, right? Dude, this is tripping me up so bad. Oh, do I really have to do this? Saving your progress, controls, all right, all right. gameplay. Choosing your party. Combat settings. Jesus Christ. I don't... I... I I'm going to have to go back and look at the video to see what the hell happened. Anyways, 
Um, as far as Aerith is... Did... Hold up. Does... Does Resty not... Not, like... She's got all her... Oh, it's the ability. Okay, so Chrono Aegis. Uh, we gotta get her Chrono Aegis. Oh, so. so we have the HP up. Then the Psychic's Charm. So she loses it, but she gains a couple of MP. Oh, that's not a whole bunch. It's not a whole bunch. I'm gonna keep her with the, uh, I'm gonna keep her with uh, the HP up. I like that better. All right, girls, come on. Well, with that being said, it looks like the only thing left for us to do is to, I guess, progress the main main quest. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go up into that area over there uh, where I was at. Something's going on 